close the first um, my B1, only B1. This is the app ID here. Uh, because I I enable the screenshot lock, so it take a lot of um, space there. Okay, it doesn't matter. And now I would like to save my script. Okay, this is the uh, B1 TC uh, workshop. Um, 1.0, and then the future, the future, close business one, and the scenario name is workshop, and the script name would be the uh, close B1, and SBO demo US HQ. Uh, US doesn't matter. Okay, you would like to save into the same folder there. Okay, and now I would like to open my um, scenario once again to open the scenario and to adding the script. Just now we uh, adding the script for the last step. Um, adding script and choosing the adding business one, and then adding business one data file there. Now as a result, we have an end to end. Um, testing scenario and starting business one at the sales order and close business one and let's have a give a go um, for the closing business one just wrong and then now I just click wrong now suppose business one is closing automatically now yeah B1 is closing here perfect um, now we have finished the recording and then I was also going to uh, replaying um, by menu uh, and then also check the result and check the log there um, and by the way for the log um, actually um, they are saving I uh, in the folder let me show it to you this is the log uh, for my b1 TC log there I just have a look at my log there okay that's the uh, log history um, the log file uh, for me for the screenshot um, for the screenshot just a few seconds ago uh, you see the order screenshot uh, has been locked and then the data that's the data has been uh, the log data the result data uh, like this uh, like um, each value like the setting the value successful or not screenshot uh, not completed or not uh, this the the log uh, maybe is not um, perfect for human reading but maybe you can transform the result XML um, um, result to the not a nice um, readable okay um, but uh, now I turn for the, for the last uh, feature I would like to um, showing to you is the I can schedule to run um, uh, this text um, this scenario text plan and then after that I would like to send the email notification so how can we do that I can uh, we um, we can schedule to run the scenario. Uh, just click the scenario and right click the scenario, and then we can set up a scheduler to run the scenario there. And I would like to setting up uh, to run it into next two uh, second 49, 45, and then I would like to run as my uh, domain, uh, my user name and password there. And then I would like to send a notification for my email after the finish. Yes, AI at SAP.com. Uh, hopefully, we got it. And actually, when we uh, add this scheduler, it was adding the Windows um, schedule task for task for me. And as you can see, it actually created a schedule task in the Windows there. Okay, let's wait for the one. Um, let's wait for the one second. Um, let's wait for the one minute to launch by the system automatically. Um, that means we can launch the um, B1TC from the command line. Um, actually, in the background, you will launch the B1TC uh, from the command line, and then with the given uh, scenario data there, you will see. So, in summary, um, the B1TC 
um, it's um, um, it's designed for you uh, for the test automation and to accelerating um, the end to end end to end testing during your upgrade project and during your uh, your add-on solution um, the, um, uh, for your add-on unit testing add-on solution unit testing and for recurrence testing for each patch and when you upgrade uh, to make sure your business one um, your add-on yeah we it launched now it launched now it launched it launched automatically now it's starting the business one it launched the business one now and giving the um, username and password there and then it was it was running it's running in the background I have to nothing there for suppose this is the midnight and then it's running and automatically there um, and this was uh, adding the value uh, to reduce the um, the upgrade um, sign code and then reduce the cost of, uh, of the uh, menu testing and it can help you to um, end to end testing but um, of course you need to um, you need to uh, record uh, um, the script um, initially and for the for the testing that's you need to you need to do and then uh, for the next one we upgrade to the, for example you uh, you recording the, the script um, in 2007 and beyond 2007 and now you are going to upgrade the business one and a point a and then you can you can just uh, running the the script um, you recording in the 2007 version and then you you will see my you're wrong in the endpoint a and maybe you want to find some some something wrong there uh, but it doesn't matter okay that's the because the last one that my email address is not uh, giving the right one there but anyway uh, I giving the uh, right uh, result I finished the, the wrong um, the script and that's the end to end starting business one and adding the sales order and then closing business one and doing the testing in the, in the midnight and the schedule the wrong um, uh, regarding the script there uh, maybe you can have a look at the, the task um, there um, just continue uh, with the uh, uh, with the summaries there um, when you run the script uh, in 8.8 .8, you record it in the 2007 version maybe you will find some problem there um, maybe there was some new new form or new button there and then uh, for this kind you need to maintain you need to maintain your test script of course um, but mostly we uh, we SAP uh, we keeping the compatible um, with the UI and with the SDK compatibility. Uh, we uh, this uh, we, uh, but you need uh, when you upgrade to a new patch, uh, maybe you need to maintain your test and automation script and a little bit. Maybe sometimes you need to modify some script. You adding the step. Um, uh, by the way, you can adding the step. You can modify the step uh, very easily by adding and you giving the value. Or you adding the one line, or even you can comment one line, uh, something like that. And then maybe um, that's you need to maintain. Um, by the way, um, um, this B1 test composer it, because it's just catching the um, is based on actually it's based on the UI API. It's not based on the DI API. It's catching the event you have done in business one. Um, so. Uh, it may not uh, be helpful for the DI um, add-on solution testing, um, but it still can be have uh, some other function, um, like you can register some external um, DLL. Uh, let me give you just a quick, and then even you can have a quick um, coverage analyzer as well. Code testing. Uh, now this the generate the coding, uh, the 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 UI code uh, for you. Um, um, for the rec for the setting, even we can um, using some um, you can we can ec we can having some adding some DOL inside and then to uh, to put it in the functional list there. Uh, but it's the, the advanced topic there. And last but not least, and you recommend to uh, looking for more details. Uh, in the help um, by F1 there, you will see more there, and then you you will see more there, and and that's it um, for the workshop. And thank you for your time. Thank you for your watching.